Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. Today we continue our booster box opening marathon with a box of XY Flash Fire, where we'll look to rain with fire. As I believe this is the third Flash Fire box we're doing in this series, while it's not Speedy Saturday, uh, I think we will try to go the faster route on these. Uh, we will be trying to keep it out for the two Phoebus one pack though, so that will, you know, limit how fast we can go to an extent. But, we'll see what happens. I still want this to be a 20 minute video, being the third one in the series, and probably like the fifth or sixth box we're gonna set on this channel in all. So, we'll do a pack trick for the first few packs here. We'll find Ultra Rare, and then really speed things up. So we got Geodude, Litleo, Stunky, Shinx, Flabebe, Celio, Magnetic Storm, Torkoal, Caterpie Reverse, and a Drag Algae. Not a bad rare to start things off. Not a foil, but you know. At least it's a playable, serviceable non-foil. Pineco, Bergmite, Sandile, Flabebe, Gumi, Pokemon Center Lady, Rapidash, Slagoo, Dusknor Reverse Rare, nice, and a Quillfish with Counter Attack Quills. Don't want to get those in your skin, ouchies. Ouchiwawa. Alright. Esper, Sneasel, Pineco, Scraggy, Shinx. Fiery Torch, Rapidash, Meltank, Blacksmith Reverse, and a Hollow Rare Shiftry. Nice. With the ability Leaf Draw. Might see some play coming soon in competitive play here. It's got the uh, same attack as Raichu does. Just happens to be a stage 2, but with the Stadium Cone and Ancient Origins, you can get them out pretty quickly. Centret, Helioptile, Flabebe, Pidgey, Phoebus. Fiery Torch, Roserade, Palpad, Gumi Reverse, and a Full Art! Shiny Shine that shines so bright! Charizard EX! Very beautiful card. Very, very nice. Now, PSA wise, there's a little bit of white on the bottom front edge there, looks like. Uh, the back doesn't look too bad. A little bit on the left sides here. Right side looks pretty perfect, though. But, probably won't be a 10, but still awesome pull. This center might be a little off too, but anyways. Very awesome, very awesome. Always love pulling that card. I think that's the most valuable full art in the set. Uh, Lysander, I believe, ranks second in that department. Uh, but yeah, generally the Charizards are what you want to find. Phoebus, Fletchling, Geodude, Stunky, Bergmite, Avalug, Trick Shovel, Love Disc, Luxio Reverse, and a Florgis Hollow. A gorgeous Florgis. So three Hollows already. Striking early here. But let's uh, start speeding up here now that we have found a few things. I guess I can just leave the uncommons back there. Just page through here, kind of pay attention, see if we can happen to find two Phoebus. One pack. Oh, we got something here. We got something. Stunk. Gun Tank Reverse, and Charizard EX with Fire Blast, which is the same one as the full art, just obviously different artwork. Now, as far as regular art goes, you prefer to get the other Charizard that has Combustion Blast. I think it's Combustion Blast. But anyways, uh, since this is the one that's reprinted in the tin, that really limits the value of the regular art. But still, always fun to get those Charizards. You know, in the long term, I mean, right now they're not super valuable, because for the most part, especially that Charizard isn't exactly playable. So it's not in high demand, but you know, down the line, years from now, when you know people are picking up older sets and looking for you know just the cool stuff, I'm sure he will rise in value in due time. But when that's kind of hard to say. But I just look right now, I'm Fire Red Leaf Green Charizard EX. Obviously, it's not a playable card, but because it's Charizard, because it's old, hard to come by, etc., it has a lot of lot of value. So. It's a very awesome card to get. So who knows, maybe five to ten years from now, a uh, Suin Pokemon is still a very awesome thing. Reverse floor just, and still in demand. Hopefully it will be. I, I don't have any reservation to think that it won't be. But if it's still, you know, a popular in demand thing, five, ten years from now, even though this Charizard X in this set is not particularly good for playing, obviously it won't be legal by that point, and but it might have a lot more value than it does today just because it is Charizard. And everybody loves Charizard. 
even without spoiling too much, somebody in Paper Towns the movie. Just, just saying. Have, have you seen Paper Towns? If you haven't, I suggest you see it. And if and when you see it, you'll know why I'm telling you guys in particular to see it. That's all I can say. I don't want to spoil things for you. I won't spoil like any plot points or whatever of the movie, but yeah. If, if you go see it, y you'll know when the time comes that I'm referring to that I think you guys need to see it because of. So, yeah. Anyways, moving on here. We're up to five hollows thus far. So we only expect to find one more on this side of the box, really. Rapid Ash, Butterfree. Let me try that again. <clears throat> free, free. At times I hit it pretty well, other times, at least like to my ears, it sounds like it's not working. I feel like that might be one of the times where it's not working, but this is working. A Mega Charizard EX. That is, other than the Secret Rare, the most valuable card in this set. And definitely what we want to find in each and every box. 230 HP, Dragon type, Wild Blaze does 300 damage. You do have to discard the top five cards of your deck. But being a Dragon type, you can use double Dragon energy on it as well. And use cards like the Reshiram in Roaring Skies to help accelerate your energy and stuff like that. So, very awesome, very cool. I still don't know if we'll see much, if any, on competitive play, but... Just with the dragon support that we got in Roaring Skies, you might see some of those in play, at least on occasion. Got our reverse rare Pyroar, and a Drudigan Hollow. So that's already seven Hollows. Maybe this will be a 13 Hollow box for us, in which case 13 will be lucky. Didn't have the best of luck on day 13 of this marathon, but it doesn't mean 13 is always an unlucky situation. There we got two Scralp, one pack. Floet, Metal Tank, Blacksmith. So two packs left here on the right hand side. I don't anticipate finding anything of real note here. Lysander Reverse, that's nice. That's noteworthy, I guess. So last pack from the first half of this booster box gives us Weavile Reverse Rare and a Barbarical. I always love saying that name. It just seems so fierce and just, I don't know. You guys like the name Barbarical? He's just so barbaric, you know? All right, so we're 7.45 into the video, looks like. So I actually need to go faster here, because I, I really want these, you know, second and third, etc. box that wins the same set, within the marathon especially, to be under 15 minutes, if I can help it. I know yesterday I really failed at that mission, but oh well. Geodude Reverse, Pidgeot. Pidgeot! <clears throat> I'm not sure the exact tone. I haven't heard that that said in a while. You know, that's like season one, two-ish. You know, back in the day. Back in the day. Old school Pokemon. Two Flabebe, one pack. And a wall ring. So yeah, we are indeed at seven hollows. So we might only get five on this side. If we're lucky, we'll end up with 13 for the box, though. If we're lucky. Pokemon Center Lady Reverse. Fortress. Also playable because of the ability there. It's similar to the bats. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, including their active. So, if they have a full bench, not factoring for Skyfield, it can do six damage altogether. Well, I guess you'd call it six damage. It can do six counters worth of damage. And uh, we, I see something here. I see something here. Central Reverse. And I think it's a full art. Oh, <laughs> it's a full art Magnezone, shiny shine that shines so bright. Uh, other, maybe one of the trainers are cheaper, but this is definitely the cheapest Pokemon full art in the set. So that's why uh, it's exciting when it's like, oh, it's a full art. Oh, but it's Magnezone. It could have been, you know, a Lysander would have been much better. Um, Kangas kind of gets one better. There's not really that many great full art options in this set, really. And the main things you want to find are the Mega Charizards, Secret Rare, or just regular. Either way is very awesome to find. But full art-wise, Lysander and Charizard are solid enough. I think they're like maybe $8 to $12 each at the current moment, give or take. But again, you know, like I said, over time, that's of course subject to change. 
full art Lysander when it's not legal, which will probably be, you know, years from now still. At least one more year uh, for the uh, standard format. Expanded, it may be an expanded for ever, depending on how they do things. Hard to say. But the Charizard will likely go up in value over time just because it is Charizard as they get harder and harder to find. And Flash Fire is out of print and can't be restocked and stuff like that. And there becomes, you know, a fixed amount of Charizards in the market. And they find their ultimate final home or they get damage from kids playing with them without sleeves and stuff. Whatever the case may be, uh, the amount of, you know, good, solid, mint condition will decrease over time, which will help the um, value of the mint ones especially go up over time, in my opinion. That seemed like a long-winded story for what I was saying, but oh well, oh well. I'm starting to, ooh, another shifter reverse. Well, another shiftery, this one is reverse. Our first reverse shifter of the box, we also got it in hollow form. But I'm starting to doubt the uh, 13 hollow hope, because, uh, yeah, that Magnazone is our only hollow so far on this side of the box. So something should be in this pack, right? We got a Spiel Reverse, two Spiel one pack, and a Float Soul. Well then, so we're down to four packs, and we're only at eight hollows. So unless I like messed up royally, putting the wrong thing in the wrong pile or something, uh, we might get a hollow in every pack of the last four packs? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Three and two. We should be getting things here. Litleo, Sentret, Helioptile, Flabebe, Pidgey, Sacred Ash, Dusclops, Ultra Ball, Fiery Torch, and Durant. Well then, this left side of the box is poop. <laughs> if the only hollow we get is a full art Magnazone, ugh. Ooh. This one I kind of hope isn't an awesome card because there's a, like a major whiting on the upper left there, like stained white almost. Now watch it'll be like a secret Omega Charizard. Sfeel, Pineco, Bergmite, Sandile, Flabebe, Meltank, Starling Megaphone, Floette, Pidgey Reverse, and a Pyroar Hollow. So, it is a Hollow. It's a pretty decent Hollow. And it's still a mint condition card and everything. It's just not something you'd ever PSA grade, no matter what the rarity of the card was probably, but... Oh well. So that's five Hollows, two regular arts, and a full art. Can we get three hollows in the last three packs? Well, let's find out, shall we? We've got Skrelp, Dot, Spritzy, Buizel, <clears throat> Bwee Bwee, Bitacle, Palpad, Fletchinder, Avalug, Protection Cube, and a Golem. Seriously, did we mess up with hollows? What were their hollows we did not, that not acknowledge and put separate and sleeve? This, this is, this is messed up. This is messed up, man. This is the last pack! Last chance. For glory. We've got a Phoebus. Fletchling. Geodude. Stunky. Bergmite. Crackerock. Furfru. Maractus. The reverse. Is a Shinx. And the final card of this box of I mean, is... Omega Kangaskhan E. X. Very nice. Strong way to end right there. That's one of the more off-centered EXs I've seen recently. Top border much thicker than the bottom border there. But still a very nice pull to end on. So very weird that we end up with just 10 hollows since we had 7 on the right side of the box. Maybe I messed up if I did. Let me know in the comments below. There you go. 5 hollows. Uh, one regular art non-mega, two megas, and two full arts. Definitely the cream of the crop has to be, though, that mega Charizard EX. So that's all for today's box opening video. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button to 200 likes and beyond. Visit our website, thepokecapital.com, for all of your Pokemon needs and help support us and the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for at least another double dose of Pokemon opening goodness. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.